sporting this Trump hat for a hat day at school. To show my pride in Trump America. 14 year old Gunnar Johansson boarded his school bus to Hidden Oaks Middle School earlier this week. Immediately I heard the bus aide tell me to, you know, knock that off, take that hat off. Take that truck. Boy, if you don't take that hat off on this bus, take it off. I was really confused. I was like, I can't wear this. I can't wear a hat? No, take that hat off. Take it off now. Put it in your backpack. She like threatened me with the referral. She threatened to turn the bus around. You know, I said, write me up. I, I didn't do anything wrong. And then she yanked my hat off. It was crazy. Take it off. So we were able to confirm that the, the hat was removed from the from the child. Gunner following her orders, keeping the hat off for the remainder of the ride, while other students on the bus also wearing different hats weren't told to remove them. Gunner's brother and other students started texting Gunner's mom, Jackie Putt. So I immediately went to the school. There were no school policies saying students couldn't wear something political. That's why Putt wanted answers and to see the video. I needed to know what my what my son just went through and what they what they did to my, what she did to my son. Oh my goodness. Take the hat off. Putt filing the police report after being told she wouldn't see the video until the investigation from the school district was closed. The district is aware of the family's allegations. We're taking it very seriously. Martin County Lieutenant Ryan Grimsdale also reviewing the video and talking to all parties involved. The crux of the of our investigation will be the interaction directly physically with the child. You know, stand up for what you believe in. We all have a right to who we want to vote for. This is America.